Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Rabbi's Reflection. I'm glad that you're joining with me today. We'll be continuing in our study of Kitchen Table Wisdom by Dr. Rachel Naomi Remen, and today reading the story Surrender. Stay with us as we read through the story and then offer some reflections. Joanne's hysterectomy for cervical cancer was her fifth surgery. Shortly after her 35th birthday, she had entered into a battle with time, a plastic surgeon at her side. With his skill, she had stripped back the ears, reclaiming the eyes, the chin, and even the breasts and bottom of her youth. Unwilling to grow old, she examined her face and body constantly, exercised daily, and was on a continual diet. We were the same age, but she looked 15 years younger. No one really needs to grow old, she had told me. Aging is a choice. The battle for her life began with a positive pap smear. The cancer had been diagnosed early, and a year of strenuous chemotherapy and radiation had put it into remission. It had been a tough year. Six months after she completed her cancer treatment, we finished our work together. At the time, her hair was just beginning to grow back. Several years afterwards, in the local market, I was stopped by a handsome, gray-haired woman I did not recognize. She greeted me warmly. Seeing my puzzled look, she burst out laughing. It's Joanne, she told me, still chuckling. I'm growing old. Who would think that someone like me could be so grateful to have wrinkles? This probably doesn't come as a surprise, this story to us. Um, The battle against aging. Our culture, um, probably particularly American culture, um, has a real hesitancy and a real worry about being old. Um, I imagine each of us may feel that in some type of way. Um, When we were younger, um, we didn't think about it. In fact, we pushed that away, Um, just like um, Joan does in this story. She says, aging is a choice. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to make sure that I go through whatever surgeries I can to change my body um, so that I don't do this, that I don't succumb um, to aging, that I don't become old. Um, But like for most of us who are watching this and participating in our reflection today, we know that aging is not a choice. It happens. the way, the title of the story is called Surrender. Um, and I think for many of us, that concept or that idea is not something that we would um, ascribe to. I think if you asked someone to talk about their emotional or spiritual life and ask them do they resonate with the concept of surrender, they would say, I don't surrender, I work hard. I take advantage of things. I'm in control. Surrender means that you let go of things, that you don't do anything, that you give up. But I think what Dr. Remen is trying to teach us here and to try to point us towards is that surrender is a regular and important part of life. We regularly, daily, come in contact with things that we're not able to change, that we're not able to fix. Sure, there are many things that we can do, Um, There are many things that we can do for ourselves um, that can in some ways perhaps make our lives um, better, um, make our lives um, more happy. Um, But there are a number of things, um, perhaps, or even the most biggest things, that we can't change, um, that we have to surrender to. Um, And I think when we're able to get to a place where we, um, as Joan said, um, enjoy the wrinkles on our face, Um, come to terms um, with who we are um, and what, in some ways, life has given to us, um, we can come to great peace. Um, So this isn't easy. It's not, um, I think in some ways it's not natural to us as human beings. But that's my hope, um, is that um, as we read the story, we think about the ways um, that we can surrender. We think about the ways, um, the things that we can control, but more importantly, the things that we're not able to. Um, And can we come to peace with that? 
And then can we find a, a sense of wholeness? Have a great day, everyone.